That's alright. Some thread lock on there. And that'll be splendid. Could have been a little bit tighter, but it's certainly going to be no problems at all. The depth of thread there, it's going to get a really good roll. I've just taken one pass less, it would have been perfect, but it's, it's perfect enough. Right, I'm chopped on. I'll be able to grip the union on the, the threads and the collar too because it closes parallel and it won't damage the threads. Well, I hope it won't damage the threads. Yeah, that's fine. BSP threads in there now and we're just about ready to go. This is one of the, the Banggood drills I've got to do a review on. The brush has to fly in for us. It's a 10 mil one. spinning the chuck and it'll take the threads off the union. I think that should do it. I managed to get the lubricator mounted uh, into the new union I made for the, the damaged thread or at least the loose thread in the valve chest cover. The steam goes into there, that's your control valve, your stop valve. The steam also goes into this lubricator here, which is full of oil. That's a little valve that allows the oil to flow out of it. As the steam comes in, it condenses. It goes down to the bottom of here, and the oil rises on the water, and the oil slowly feeds into the engine. That's the thing there, so you can drain the water out. No moving parts, very reliable, and they do work. This is the steam outlet flange for the engine. This is the opposite of the inlet. This is a tight fitting 3 BSP. I've got a 3 BSP. It's a 15mm adapter there and it won't screw in because the tight's been the tight because the thread's been cut tight. Now 
see the gasket making. Just use the, the flange and the package the easiest way to do it. Two bolt holes in first, in the centre hole. And just carefully around the outside. You should do this all the time when I was an apprentice making gaskets for water pumps and thermostat housing. Something that's not really done now, as you can suppose, on, on cars anyway. Right, one gasket. Put a bit of black graphite grease on there, and that'll be ready to go. The port in here is really big, it's probably three quarters of the diameter so this engine will be capable of doing some real work This is just a piece of modern thin wall 15mm pipe. I will get a, some heavy wall pipe and make a, a better job of it. I'm sure this will do for this weekend. Better with an extension on there to take a, a lot of oil and exhaust steam away. Then the flats. Right, right, uh, that's the end and that's the other. So, I mean, that's not going to be that long there, but it's still... It's still going to look good. Uh, it'll ah. still look better than now. Uh. And will you do the, the full outside edge, except up there? Aye, to the inch. Aye, aye to, yeah. That, yeah. to that line there. I mean, that, the router bit will determine like the size of it and that, but... Aye. You know what I mean? So that, that there will just, like... Because yeah, I mean, you, 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 you can go in really deep, can't you? If you want to be. Aye. Like, sort of three quarters of an inch. Oh. I mean, I'll just do, I'll just, I've got a bit of this spare in about that long, so I'll yeah. just do and see what it looks like. Aye. And then be able to do the same. So, like, the corners will be solid. Yeah. And then that'll, like, have a sort of galloped in bit. Right. Um, Make got the wood machine for the bases, all nicely scalped out, ready to go. I've got a hole throw there so I can put a bar through to help lift it. And I'm also going to put some supporting throw there in between the two the two pieces of wood. I've got some you won't see stud and I'm going to put that through there and just put a tube in the centre and hopefully I can put a tree in there as well to collect the oil which inevitably drips out of the engine because it is a total loss lubrication system. nuts on there tightened up. I'm using UNC studding because the nuts are just a better proportion than metric. They just look better that's all. And that's a much better looking nut than a 10mm nut. I suppose it's 
just me, but I like things to look right. Every time I pick this hacksaw, I keep thinking I must buy some new blades. It's going to be a, a good handle or lifted by as well because it is quite, quite heavy. Get the all made for in the back and then nip them up. It's going to give the base a lot more strength as well. If it gets knocked on there, there's less chance of it cracking off. Once that's stood short and quarter of an inch, that's an interesting item. That's actually an 11 16 snap on spanner. I'd have bought that probably when I was 18 or 19. So that's had sort of 40 year of use. I've not used it for a long time, but it is a, a genuine snap on spanner. Got my name on there. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in. And don't forget, if you like what you see, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Once again, it's just a time to see it. It's just a time to see it. You're buried.